Hello friends, today through this video we will discuss the topic doses compensation and the sex determination in Drosophila. So Drosophila is also called the fruit fly. So in Drosophila the female contain the XX sex chromosome and male contain the XY chromosome as compared in the human is just very similar and when it is XO that is a sterile male that is no Y chromosome and no shri gene present in that chromosome. So Y chromosome plays no significant role in the sex determination in Drosophila but involved in sperm formation in adults. So it is known as the cis sex uh, differentiation so according to the calvin bridge the sex of an individual drosophila depends upon the ratio of the x chromosome to the sets of autosome that it means the x is to 2a that is auto a, a represent the autosome when it is 0.5 that uh, it re regards to as male flies when it is one that forms the female flies so one set of autosomes consists of three chromosome and one each of chromosome that is two three and four the sex chromosome in drosophila in chromosome one so total number of chromosome in the drosophila is eight a number well the two uh, is the two that is xx determines the sex chromosome or it is determined by the xy chromosome in male so six plus xx and six plus y xy here is a chart of the genic balance of the sex determination in Drosophila. If the number is 1.50, that is, it is meta female. If the number is 1, it is normal female. And in between the 1 and 0 0.5, it is called as the intersex. And if it is 0 0.33, that is, it is meta male. So it is the ratio of the X chromosome to the autosome. Here is a term gynandomorph, which is an organism in which the certain regions of the body are male and other regions are female. So gynandomorph can have bilateral asymmetrical in number, half female and half male, or they can be the mosaic. So in Drosophila, the bilateral asymmetry in which the chromosomal lagging has occurred at to the one cell stage that is during the first mitotic division, causing the fly to be half male and the half female. It may be the anterior posterior in position bilateral and the sex pair balls. Sex pair balls are the parts when the whole body of the female and some of the male patches on the body. Next subtopic is the sex lethal gene. So the X chromosome is the primary determinant in normal diploid insect and the X chromosome contains genes including transcription factor that activate the criti critical gene in Drosophila sex determination and the X link locus sex lethal. So basically the sex lethal gene is a splicing factor that initiates a cascade of RNA processing events that will eventually lead to a male specific and the female specific transcription factor and these transcription factor that differentially activates the genes involved to produce either the male phenotype or the female phenotype. So first phase of the drosophila sex determination involves the reading D of the X is to A ratio and it appears that the high value of the X is to A ratio are responsible for the activating the feminizing switch gene called sex lethal gene so in xye cells the xl gene remains inactive during the early stages of development next subtopic is a doses compensation in the drosophila so in drosophila the female have two copies of the x chromosome that is xx and the male only one that is x and another is maybe the y or the absence of y so doses composition is a mechanism by which the activity of the x link gene is made equal in the two sexes of the type xx and the xy so in simpler words hum log keh sakte hain ki doses compensation ek process hai ki female mein do x hota hai male mein ek x hota hai to jo male ka jo ek x hai usko equal karna female ke double x se so genes involved in doses compensation is the xl gene that is sex lethal genes which is a splicing factor tra or tras gene that is transformation gene dsx gene that is double sex gene and the msl gene and the male sex lethal gene so male may excess little gene that is sex lethal gene jo hota non functional hota or female may more functional hota here in male the x needs up regulation while in female the xl gene is expressed and functional so uh, in male the msl complex is formed and binds x link gene increases transcription and in female the tra and dsx gene that is double sex determination gene is on that is msl2 is off 
So here is a chart of the doses compensation in the Drosophila embryo. So if the X is to A ratio is 1, it leads to the female while it is 0.5, it leads to the male. So in, we, we know that the XL gene is, is functional in the case of female and it is not activated in the case of male. So XSL, XSL not activated in the male and it is activated in the female. If it is activated, the MSS2 is uh, no activated no activation in the case of female while it is in the case of the male the msl2 is activated which leads to the doses compensation then tra is activated and tra and tra2 is also activated and leads to the female specific dsx protein that is dsxf then it leads to the female differentiation uh, differentiation genes and leads to the female phenotypic characters and repression of the male differentiation gene while in the case of male uh, DXX protein that is DSXM leads to the male differentiation of gene and the depression of the female differentiation gene. So here is a, another chart in the case of female and the case of male. So X, uh, SXL gene is activated in the female and XL gene is not activated in the female uh, male. And we know that these genes are the splicing act as a splicing factor which cleaves the uh, mRNA and in this the mrna has stopped codon and uh, initially uh, splicing is initiated by the six six elements and later by the xsl protein then active xsl protein leads to the non productive splicing of the msl gene productive splicing of the tra gene and the oogenesis leads to the formation of the female phenotypic character while in the case of the male uh, it uh, it is uh, it has uh, stop codon and by default it's splicing the mrn contains uh, stop codon then no active of xsl gene and the productive splicing of the msl gene which is a, a, a functional in the male and default splicing of the tra gene and the spermatogenesis leads to the formation of the male phenotypic character so this is all about the doses compensation and the sex determination in the uh, drosophila so thank you and keep watching